Hello, in this dot programming video, we are going to look at conditional expressions. So conditional expressions allow us to evaluate some sort of condition and you know provide a value if it's true and provide a value if it's false. So there's actually two conditional expressions. Let me cover both of them. So these are very similar to ternary operators in other programming languages. So if we create a number, so let's say num1 equals 90. For example, the value can be whatever you want. So if we want to do, let's say, var result equals, so if we want to say if num1 is less than 100, so I'll, let me quickly write the format. I'm going to put a string. I'm going to say it is less than 100, colon, it is more than 100 and if I were to just print out the result run it see what we get so we get it is less than 100 so what this does if this evaluates to true this first value is returned and in this case it is assigned to this variable if not then the second value is returned so if this condition is false but if I make it 900 num1 is not less than 100 now it's greater than it says it is more than 100 another conditional operation is for basically just checking if the value is null or not so if i create another variable it could be anything you know we want to really so if i say int num1 equals null and uh, it should be num2 because we've already got num1 so that will cause an error it will disappear now if I was to do so var result 2 equals for this you just put num2 or the you know the variable two question marks and then the value it'll return so if we say it'll return we're going to say it's going to return mm, mm, it is no and if I was to print all of this out now two and run it we get it is no so what it checks is is this no if it is no then it returns this value if it is a no so if I put a value here like seven you'll return the value itself so it's a great way of quickly checking if the variable is null, maybe the user needs to input some data, some information, like on a login form. If they have an input here, it's not valid, and as a result, they can't accept it, then you could provide some sort of other response saying, please try again, for example. That's it for conditional expressions. Pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.